Hi everybody, welcome to Model Car Madness. It's my new YouTube channel. I have um, a previous channel called My Retirement Life, but I know a lot of people that watch that are not into model cars, so I decided to kind of make have two channels, so have two audiences. And I'm, you know, I don't promote this. I don't try to make money. If it ever happens, that's great. But really, just kind of like making videos, and I always like watching model videos so I thought well why not get out there and share some of my stuff too so um, I'm going to start with showing you some of my finished models um, I recently retired here to Thailand from America and I shipped all my kits what I didn't get rid of just the, what I thought I would need for the rest of my building life and the finished models that I just couldn't bear to part with I shipped those and everything came through perfect not a piece fell off, nothing. I mean, and I know it was not handled very carefully, but I packed it pretty good, and uh, well, I got lucky and it all survived. So I'm gonna start with just a quick look at my finished cars that I have on display, and then I'll show you my work area, and then as I make more videos, I'll try to do some, a little bit of modeling and a little bit of progress like I'm not so good with putting the camera on while I'm trying to do something but I, I'm going to try to get better at that and hopefully I can show some the process of actually doing stuff rather than just an update when things are finished so let's go to see the, what I have on the shelf okay these are this is my Bob Glidden EXP. It's built with a um, competition resins body and slicks decals. It's one of my favorites. I just I couldn't bear to get rid of it. That's why I packed it in the truck. I should have opened these cases so you can see better. Uh, let me put the camera on hold and I'll take the lids off. Okay, and we're back. So this one was tough. I'd have never got that lid off with one hand. But it's got the got the Boss 429, and this uh, most of my drag cars here, which pretty much is all I build is drag cars. Every now and then you'll get something odd that's not. But all these pro stock cars use the Ravel Pro Sportsman chassis, with in this case a lot of modifications. This had to be shortened, narrowed. Um, I, I always use the the floor pans and the base chassis and then I build my own roll cages to fit the contours of the body okay so then I also have this resin body resin fiat it's a resin body not sure whose it was it may have been a Jimmy Flintstone I used a Ravel funny car chassis for that and here's a replica of Warren Johnson's 80 old Starfire, which I started with a Monza body and converted converted the headlights here to the single headlights. I had to use decals for grills. Um, and in the back end I used, converted the taillights from the Monzas that used to wrap, you know, they used to come around and come to a point there. And this same deal with the Ravel Pro Sportsman chassis and big block Chevy. That's what the car, the real car, had in it. And I, those decals, I I printed myself off of a picture of the of the real car, printed them on decal paper. They came out pretty good. A lot of times I have bad luck printing decals, but this worked out pretty good. And then down here's another of my favorites from when I was a kid growing up. It's the Bad Habit Fiat. Charlie Hill owned um, Bob Palmer driven they say it was the first one in the sixes which I'm pretty sure it was but there's people who argue that this is another um, this is a competition resins body with a Johan chassis again heavily modified and I, I actually made hinges for this to open Sorry about the shaky hand, but one-handed with a camera and one hand on the model that I care about is a little tough to do. I made those 
fire bottles. Everything I tried to build this as much as I could off of the real car, so it you know so it would be authentic. It's like the third version that I built. The first two were not 100% or as close as I could get to being realistic. So this is the third and the last. The next one here is this is a good friend of mine who passed away about oh man six or seven years by now. I used to work with him, Kip Martin. Uh, the Super Stock L record holding Mustang. This thing ran like, I think he had the record at 1013 and it left with the wheels sky high. Little 289, an auto light carburetor, no hood scoop. Now the, it's not 100% accurate under the hood there, but I don't usually show it with the hood off anyway. Again, I made, he, he had given me one of his big decals with his logo and I took a picture of it sized it and printed it on decal paper this one desperately could use a redo because i i wasn't my skills weren't not that my skills are the best now but they have improved a little bit since then and like i would have stripped the chrome off the wheels and painted them without clad um but everything's I, if i try to redo it i'm going to destroy it i might as well just start over so i may just leave it like that for now and you can see i like the little figures of the ladies too over here is another one of my favorites, um, a 1940 Willys. Saw a picture of a car like this in a, I think it was on the internet, I don't think it was a magazine, but I just, when I saw the color and the wheels, it was like, man, I gotta build that. So, I used a resin body. Again, this is an Altered States resin body. I believe I put a Ford motor in here. I'm thinking that's a Boss 429. It's been a little while since I built this. But I know one of my friends gave me a bunch of shit about putting a Ford in, the, in there. Because I am basically was a Chevy engine guy all my life. and uh, But I like to be different. I like to, you know, I don't want to put Chevy, small block Chevys and big block Chevys and everything. And the trim on the side here is bare metal foil. It's cleared over top. I always use 2K urethane clear as, you know, if I have it. And once in a while I don't have it. So I have to use like Tamiya or Tester's wet look. But this is... This is the 2K. This I, I made a um, on-off switch in the back. I usually try to put the parachute lines and the release cable. Again, another one of my friends told me I'm crazy for doing that little release cable, but I kind of like it. And this is my oldest one, so I can't bring myself to get rid of this. It's a Pro Sportsman chassis with a Rambler body. Um, I, I keep threatening to repaint it. At least take the body off and repaint it. It's got the AMC AMC engine in it. This I built back in about probably 1991, 92 maybe, 93. As you can tell by the color, I mean that's that kind of dates it. It's not it's not my best work, but because it's so old, it kind of has a sentimental value to me. And this I built right when I got here to Thailand. I was waiting on my stuff to come. Had nothing to work on. So I went to the hobby store and bought this Volkswagen kit. Just threw it together. Lowered it a little bit. Made some surfboards for the top. And I painted that with um, uh, a chrome spray can base with Tamiya clear blue over top. And I didn't have the urethane clear so I just used Tamiya spray can clear. Nothing about that other than stock. I mean I didn't do anything. And I have my Jungle Jim Monza Funny Car with Jungle Pam. This is a competition resins body. It's the shovel nose, the correct, corrected nose. It's not the same as the kit. And I made that little release latch for lifting the body. I made the extended spoilers. And let's see if I can. The slicks on the back of that are from um, Future Attractions, they're really big ones. But this car had huge tires on the back and I, I just remember seeing it on a dry hop and bouncing on them big tires and I just had, you know, had to put the biggest ones I could get on it. And this is the next one I finished when I got here. Competition resins body, the Warren Johnson Olds Pro Stock chassis and this this took almost nothing just basically a box stock build except for wheels 
the front wheels are um, resin and then you know the body fit right on it really didn't have to modify very much at all did come with the wrong scoop so I luckily had a had the right scoop in my inventory and I just had to change the valve covers out of the, the old kit and it's two-tone airbrush paint job with um, 2k urethane clear that was after I got here I could not find that clear anywhere and I finally ended up ordering it online and this is the last one I just finished it's the AMT 66 Nova body on the Ravel Pro Sportsman chassis scratch built cage a little bit of modifications it's got a big block Chevy in it the underside is pretty it's pretty much out of the as the kit was made except for the roll cage and the wheels and tires again future attractions tires on the back and these are 3d printed wheels that I had bought a while back and the paint is um, splash this is splash paint with 2k urethane clear and I'll show you the area work area okay this is my messy room that I work in I tried to straighten it out a little bit before making this video I did make a paint booth since I got here but I can't find a good enough fan to suit me this this fan just doesn't pull strong enough it's a beautiful fan but it doesn't pull enough it's a bathroom fan and I even made a little box so it would support it should be supported the hole in it that I cut in was almost perfect I mean everything worked out perfect except for the strength of the fan so I'm gonna have to find something stronger the fans really quiet it's just I tried painting inside here and it just the, it doesn't pull the fumes out so I end up dragging everything out to the laundry room when I want to spray the urethane clear and here's some my resin bodies. Uh, I, I stocked up a whole lot before I came here because I didn't want to, you know, it's kind of hard to get supplies when you're here. There's one hobby store. They have a lot of Tamiya, but they don't have like resin bodies and they don't, the only kits they have are Tamiya. Um, it's better than nothing, of course. This I brought along with me and because Thailand uses 220 volt electric, I just Put a got a light bulb here and it's been working working on a beretta pro stock here it's going to be the gory rivera i have a set of slicks decals from the olds that i'm going to try to make work using the olds warren johnson chassis with a lot of modifications it's just it's not even close to fitting the beretta body and the beretta is a promo so the plastic's really hard and brittle i got to be careful the anglia this is going to be kind of like a six footer or a curbside even though it's going to be it's going to have the details it's it's far from my best work i can't i cannot build anglias that's such a temperamental kit even though i used not much of the real original kit it just every time i try to build an anglia it fights me every step but i think it's going to look good sitting on the table because i got i got really good low stance sitting on it and i made um made a front spoiler I had an Anglia that I drag raced in the 80s and I did the same thing on my real one I used brake line tubing and sheet metal on the real one so this one I used plastic rod that I bent to form it and then plastic sheet to fill it in a little bit of filler but I glued the front end together I, I did make a little bit of a hinge it's not it's not high quality but it it does function going to have a small block Chevy with a Hillborn injection on it, the strut front. I can't even show you the bottom of the chassis, I'm so ashamed of it. And the roll cage I'm not proud of either. I mean it's okay but it's not symmetrical, which I have a problem with. It's going to have these, these wheels on the back, the old bear claw. Let's see them, yeah. And the, from um, Speed City Resins, the torque thrust spindle mounts are going to be on the front. And it's going to be painted, I believe, with this splash red. It's called Super Red. I'm not sure if that's a Ferrari color or a Toyota, maybe. 
but it's a really red red. I'm probably going to use a little bit of orange of some kind. One of one of those three. I haven't decided yet. I don't even know what the scheme's going to be, but hopefully I get get ready soon and get paint on it. And here's my uh, some supplies underneath. More supplies underneath. The kits that I had shipped over. And I, it, although it doesn't look like a lot of kits, every box has a minimum of two inside, like the Pro Sportsman cars there. I sold off the bodies and put chassis inside. Like I, Some of them have three chassis, some have two, some have bodies that I'm going to use with that chassis. I have a list of 40, over 40 cars that I'm going to build, so it's going to take me a while. Even that clear plastic display case there has a soft seal 57 Chevy chassis in it. This air compressor I got when I got here from because it's 220 volt. I didn't and my air compressor I had wasn't real good, but that thing's awesome. It holds. I mean, it's still still got pressure in it. And I, I used it like two weeks ago. It doesn't leak at all, and it it's very quiet. Doesn't run that often. And another project that's going to be coming up one of these days is the Henry J. I did glue the fenders and doors on because these I put these in the same category with the Anglia. I just I can't build them they fight me so much and here's my styrene that I stocked up on I have some there and I have tubing up here and some more rod over there sandpaper and plastic sheeting so I, I should be stocked up for hopefully for whatever everything I want to do but it never works out that way. I'm always gonna. You always need something. So I hope you follow along, and hopefully we'll have some some cool stuff to get to show as I'm going along. So if you like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notifications, and uh, leave a comment if you want. And I'm like I said, I don't know how often I'm going to do this on this channel. I do my retirement life a little bit more often. Um, my family kind of likes, family and friends like to see what I'm up to around here, but I like my model friends to be able to see what I'm doing with the models too. So spread the word if you can, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.